ladies and gentlemen, your next bout of the evening to be fought over three three minute rounds. An amateur mixed martial arts rules for the vacant Combat Challenge Championship. Introducing first, hanging out of the blue corner, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Matthew. Standing across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. Please welcome Daniel Kazinski. Your referee in charge of the action. This is the Hello everybody, welcome to Combat Challenge. This is our main event of the evening. We're here at Cedar Court in Bradford. It's a middle, uh, middleweight uh, championship fight. It is, yeah. We've got uh, Matthew Hodgson taking on uh, Daniel Klasinski. Now I'm told that uh, Matt Hodgson has got hammers for fists. He's Indeed. actually hiding anvils in them gloves. He's a and, big uh, dude. We know that, uh, we know that Daniel's got a chin on him. We know he's got an ability to stand up and take some shots. So this could be an absolute slobber knocker. Definitely, I and mean, we know the Klasinski brothers both are cardio machines, they don't get tired. Um, so this is going to be a fascinating matchup and a great headlining, uh, headlining fight for this Yeah, card a tremendous well. fight for this one. So we've got the ABT guys taking on the, uh, the incredibly tough Klasinski brothers. Yep, and this is for the strap as well, so even more on the line. So currently we've got uh, Daniel controlling the head of uh, Matt Hodgson at the moment. Matty, uh, Hammering some legs, legs, uh, knees in the short leg there. He'll be looking to uh, create some space and presumably put his hands on uh, Daniel's face. So we've seen this before from the Kaczynskis where they'll uh, they'll hold the head for an extended period of time. Yeah. And and just just squeeze basically. Yeah, it is a headlock. It's not actually a guillotine. No, that's it. But it uses it as a powerful controlling mechanism. So a bit of space now. We'll see what uh, Mike can do in the open. Well, good shots there from Daniel. Big right hand as well from Matt as he goes to take us out. A single. Takes his man for a ride there. So up against cage right in front of us right now. And yep. Matt looking to advance position. Daniel back to his feet now. And this could be a big part of the game plan. You know, this this control element uh, to see you know, to just grind out your opponent. Yeah, and tire up his arms as well, you know, Definitely. like, you know, you're constantly stopping the breathing at this point. So we've got wrist control now from uh, Matt Hodgson at the moment, looking to uh, control his nice inside knee there as well yeah. from Matt. Knee return there by uh, Kluzinski. Goes for the, uh, the double leg now, he's dropped down, he has got his hands clasped, so there's no chance he's not going to finish this, I should imagine. You know, he's got plenty of power and plenty of size, he's, uh, he's in a good position now to elevate these hips. And he goes up there. Good takedown defence for Daniel, yeah, he's managed really to just defense. stay on one toe there, so... Matty making the adjustment, trying to control the leg to stop him actually hanging on. He's a lot of energy at this point, you know. Yeah, definitely. Keeping man pushed up against the cage. Twice he's gone for a, a good, strong double. Hands are still finished. He's not giving this up yet. He is under the, he is under the hips quite nicely. Mm -hmm. It just uh, depends wherever he can get a, a moment of explosion there to pick his man up and upend him. Great takedown defence here from Daniel. Yeah, really good. He's done a really good job of keeping his base low. He's using that left leg really well to just, just stop that final... Uh, Final explosion as he comes up onto his toes and uh, weighing heavy on the back of, uh, of Mike Hodgson at the moment. Ten seconds to go. Mike gets to take down again. Yeah, he's looking to, to end this round with a takedown. Hasn't managed it though. I have to say that that shows some tremendous balance really from uh, from Kluzinski. I did not think he would. Uh, not think he'd be able to stay on his feet there. That oh, was that a bit more. So we come out to uh, round two now. So we've got three three-minute rounds for this one. So uh, one in the books, two to go. Yeah, anything can happen with these uh, bigger dudes. Anything can, uh, can change in an instant. That's right hand over the top there from Matty. Leg kick there as well. I like that sort of jumping front kick we've seen from Kozinski a few times. Interesting, isn't it? Oh, oh. huge right hand there. And there's and a the takedown take that we expected in the first round. There's the takedown they were looking for. Big slam, knew he had it in all along. Yeah, and I think the difference was that he didn't give him, uh, give him a moment to think about it. No, that's it, didn't have a chance to actually set his balance. Really, yeah. really good adjustment, good good balance there as well. And uh, big right hand though, I mean, that'd be, that was a fairly stunning right hand. Yeah, it got his attention, that's for sure. I wouldn't say it hurt him, but it got his attention. I don't know what you do to hurt him, to be honest. Well, that's true. Oh, 
Well, let's see what Matty can do from this position. He's got uh, his inside control. He's got plenty of time to work. He's got his man on the ground. The one thing we've not seen a, a great deal of is from the Kuzinskis is their, their ability to get back to their feet, unfortunately. That's actually you know, true. Tough guys, good on the feet. They, they tend to hang really well in the clinch as well, but they're... Uh, you know, when they've been on the mat, they have spent considerable time there under control. Um, you know, and, and Matty Bid, an AVT guy, he's going to know the ground. Yeah, well rounded. Inside guys. and out. Do you know what I mean? So, looking to tie his man up at the moment, control the wrist, and then land some shots. Get them, uh, get them shots in nice and short, causing a man all sorts of problems. He's not got a lot of room to work because the elbow is in the no, way. No, he can't the quite clear that hand of Kuzinski's there at the moment, and he's, you know, he's, he's got a really nice side control though. He's just giving no option for him to regard. See that sort of left leg flat out controlling at the moment, stopping any sort of ability for uh, Kuzinski to use his left leg and get that back round. So, you know, well, we are still in the amateur rule set, so of course, no elbows on the ground. Absolutely, yeah. A good option. If you want to knee on belly now, just slide across, across the mat. Nice. This could be a could be a tough spot for uh, for Daniel. See Matty looking up to his corner to get some advice. It's a very good idea when you've got UFC veteran Danny Mitchell. And they're saying the exact same thing, just push his face down, yeah. and use that to then strike, rather than, nice. rather than free your hands. Kowinski covering well. Punching back, back off the bottom. bottom. I love that. Well, you know, you'll have seen from that previous fight, from Daniel, where, uh, you know, booking is not enough. No. You're going to have to do something, even if you can't do anything, you can, well, punch. You know what yeah. I mean? It shows you're still in the fight. Even if you are getting teed off on, at least you're doing something. Uh, it shows the willingness to continue, I suppose. But uh, Matty having it all his own way in this second round. Neil Hall keeping a very close eye on the action. But he will, of course, Trying to isolate the arm there as Matty, so he's got a bit more, a uh, uh, better option for striking. And Daniel doing a good job of making it difficult for him. Oh, nice. Nice oh. reverse that, take himself back into uh, the side control from that mount. So uh, That's a decent scramble there. Yeah, Daniel, good actually. work. Timed that really well. A couple of seconds left this round. We had a very, very strong second round there yeah. from uh, Matty Hodgson. For the title, that's... Okay. <laughs> Daniel asked me there, do you want to touch gloves? And Matty going, now I'm all right, you think? Now, bro, I'm sweet. That's fine. Yeah, at least you know, like, you're not messing around straight, yes. straight back to it. Perfect glove touches and all that nonsense. Oh. That may have been a bit over-eager there from Daniel. A couple of shots and then left himself quite high. Um, Matthew tying up immediately. A couple of nice short knees there from Daniel. And if you're Kuzinski's corner, you've got to be screaming for separation, haven't you? Uh, I, yeah, absolutely. Like you've got to be saying, get him up against the cage, create some space, put your hands on him, put his back against the cage, where he's having to shoot with very little space. Yeah. Because uh, we've seen we've seen some good good double legs from Matt, Matty at the moment. He's doing the same now, but you know Daniel doing a really good job yeah. sprawling. You see his hips are really low, even though uh, Matty's got his, his hands clasped. Daniel doing a good job to make sure he can't get his feet controlled as well hard work this you know it's real hard work yeah um, but I don't think I don't think Daniel's gonna be able to like outlast the gas requirements of uh, of Matty he's doing so well at, like yeah you know, it's really impressive his takedown defense is looking superb but you know not been able to actually do anything he's not yeah. able to get anything off while he's defending like this and it must be frustrating yeah there's nothing he can do you know he's doing everything right he's not getting taken down hoping that the other guy mm -hmm. you know makes a mistake or, or provides a little bit of space but Matty just not doing that no and the uh, and the clock is ticking away a short knee there knee back as well from Kuzinski it's so hard when we've got a guy who's just consistently <laughs> powerfully trying to go for this takedown and uh, you know Kuzinski doing a superb job of not of not you know not going down he sprawled four times last time but Matty eventually gets it back to the floor all we really need now from Kuzinski is to, is to cage walk back up again get that knee in between the legs and, uh, and, and wall walk to get back to his feet he's trying to sit up now but uh, Matty staying heavy on him oh he tries to go for the reversal there manages to actually re-guard one butterfly one guard there and Matty trying to pass he's up against the cage it's going to make it a really hard job for him to get a reversal from here it's a tough night's work for uh, Daniel Kaczynski yeah, just, a, just an unrelenting pressure game from, uh, from Matt Hodgson. There's no real space for Kuzinka to work, is there? No, there really isn't. 
but he's, he's doing a decent job of tying up uh, Hodgson as well to prevent any more ground and pound, which is lost very wise, but isn't going to get him into a better position. Neil Hall giving the, you know, won't stand him up now. Kind of giving the warning, because actually the, the more aggressive of the two at the moment in his position is <laughs> to be Krasinski, who's, you know, kicking off his back. A couple of hammer fists now for the just to keep him honest. Uh, for the last 10 seconds. Matthew Hodgson pounding away on Daniel Kaczynski here. He's put an emphatic end on this bout. Oh, wow. Oh, dear. Oh, dear me. Not a great deal of sportsmanship there, but obviously tension's running high. Not a... Uh... Seems like Kaczynski a little bit frustrated there. I'm just talking about it, it's a frustrating fight for him. You know, he spent a lot of it on his back. Yeah. Uh, with Hodgson on top of him, you know, either bringing down punches or controlling him. It can't have been a lot of fun. Uh, well, the unanimous decision, Yoana and